Hello guys, this tutorial is about how you can create this Ascent Chronos node from C++ to the blueprints. And it means this node will uh, trigger not immediately. Because uh, synchronous communication, it's like functions, uh, will be triggered immediately. And this node also you cannot trigger from the uh, function because we have time like delay and we cannot put inside the functions this but it's a very great way and you can call from anywhere this uh, node also i will put the code in the description and if you want to support me you can do this via patreon link and i will put some helpful information in the description under the video okay let's start this is an empty project and here we need to create the c++ class and this class is not here we need to click here show all classes and we need to write a sync action uh, base here this blueprint async action base we need to select and we can name it like uh, async node uh, and create this class now compiling is finished and we have two files header and cp file header i will put here i'm using rider and for me it's just better but sometimes i have some legs but it's okay just and here we need to create for first mm, our delegate to trigger uh, it's just for testing this whole tutorial, but I will write and I will show you. Declare where dynamic because delegate with two parameters, and we need just put here some. Mm, variables to trigger uh, for that we need new property uh, why does this not help me okay why did it just not help it and we need to write the type the type should be start from f F response uh, delegate gate and type oh no no this is type and we need to write the name like on success yes and here we need to write blueprint blueprint assignable to assign and we need to create other uh, output like mm, again new property uh, blueprint is uh, and f I just I can just copy this and paste and it's different name on fail on fail and this delegate we need to put also here with two parameters and first will be int uh, 32 uh, with name id other f string f string uh, text or or data okay now we have our this delegate and with the two assignable uh, methods uh, now we need to create uh, the simple ID to check and to make outputs from this uh, property uh, int temp uh, temporary like zero and here we need to create a function to check if it's equal or less uh, the or this value what we just write in function uh, void is 
equal uh, is equal and other one from the documentation I will attach the link under the description we have one method uh, virtual it's activated by the method void activate override now rider help me <laughs> and this means uh, this activate method uh, calls when we just trigger the node and for header file seems all okay now we can go to the our ccp file and we can uh, we can write oh no we should also write one function um, we can just put it here and make this all public public and here we need to write also one function it's very important and you function a blueprint callable also blueprint callable uh, meta uh, blueprint internal uh, I just copy. Uh, now we need to write static. Static. Um, this node pointer and the name of the function. Uh, I will write name mm, async ferrox uh, and mm, parameters const int id uh, also one uh, we can use this like memory but it's not great to make it in the blueprints just better to make it uh, like this seems all is done in the header file and we need to move to the our uh, cpp file and for this i'm going to the generate implementation but like it's also possible to do just copy this and paste but it's just faster and we need to create the this node and uh, we need to create a new node and new uh, ferox node is equal new object and object will be mm, the same a sync node and without anything because okay yes now we should um, like we should uh, right we have here this uh, ID and just for that we need to put this new id from the node because we have blueprint callable here and we just can get it and for the new one we just set this temp temporarily node we set the new one from the blueprint uh, from the node from the blueprints and we also need to return return and new ferox node uh, then we can use activate we can create this uh, generate implementation this will trigger when we just call the node and for this we will call this one void is uh, ah yeah we don't need this void equal we will call this here when we just trigger the node and now we need to do our function uh, to, to make difference on the success or on the fail and we need to implement this our function ah uh, no no this one generate implementation also 
I will put it below. This equal. Now we can just take if statement and use temp. Uh, we use this temp, but on the start when we just trigger, uh, we just check. We, ju we just call this function, and we will here do some outputs if it's true or if it's false. But it will be with the uh, async. But it will be with the asynchron node. And here we can just write on success broadcast and call our mm, multicast delegate trigger trigger parameters. And here we just need to write mm, temp. We will trigger the same number and string data we need to write uh, success success from C++ if it's not bigger else this node will be like bigger if uh, idea value will be bigger than our we will do but you will see in the blueprints it's easy uh, on file on file we should do, do the same but for testing i will write minus one and or minus two two eight and uh, this file message and also it's important uh, remove uh, removal from the root it's for garbage collector and it will uh, know that we need to clear later this one seems all is okay let's try to build Okay, let's check. Okay, let's check this here and I will create, I will save this as a level new map. Then to this level, I will create the new actor. And it's great that that node will call from any place. Like, I will create the new actor. Uh, actor. And inside this actor, we will have this node. And it's just great. We don't need to think where we need to put this or call like blueprint function library, but here we can just use this from anywhere. I just copy async parox and paste it here, and we will check how it works inside uh, begin play. And here I will write number one, and it should be success because inside the uh, here we just have id and if id will be bigger we can write maybe more than if it will be more bigger than zero it will be more correct i think okay and now we can do a print strings to test um, node not activation uh, on success on success mode and on fail on fail okay let's try ah yes yes i need to place uh, the sector to the scene on success node. Also, we can just test it here uh, to make the append node append, and I will check success and uh, do text 
ID uh, will be here and with this make one space bar and data and we can check it um, but with the more time 10 seconds will be okay I think Ah, we have one file uh, we need to write, it's like plus number to be bigger than zero. On success, not two, that is success from C++. We just call number two from the C++. Uh, here we just, we put inside two number and trigger here and this works. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it's true, you can uh, like the video, support me on the Patreon, and also you will get the full project. And also I will put the link with the code under the description, and some helpful links also. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have some ideas with the, some custom notes, you can write to me, and I can do later some tutorials, because I think to create other tutorials with the arrays, like for each loop and with methods. Okay guys, thank you for watching and bye.